my most successful handline rig of all time. It's a bottom rig, drifting rig. Not so much a trolling rig, but a true drifting rig. Three ounce sinker here. One of my old triple threat swivels. 50 pound test line. Going to a dropper. And we'll come back to that. Going to a good old fashioned nail knot to some seven weight fly line. Weighted fly line. And 100 feet of that, and then another 40, 50 -ish feet of 50 pound test backing. Right? So it takes inspiration from the way fly fishermen tie their rigs, except the terminal rig is just more what you find in something like in salt water. Except off the dropper, it's 90 degrees. One of my shock leaders, and this one's a little too long, this shock leader is about 18 inches, need to be more like six or eight inches, but still. And it'll and that's the shock leader is made from 12 pound test line so and because it's quadrupled over here it's like 48 pound test line so you're going from 50 to 48 and it goes down to something like roughly the equivalent of 24 down to a 12 pound test loop down to an 8 pound test tippet right just like in fly fishing no difference I'm not, it's just not casting. And then here I will tie a hook, measure up 18 inches and tie another hook. So I'll have two hooks, get on a drift, plop this overboard, let it sink down to the bottom. You can feel the bottom. I have used slinky weights a lot, but with slinky weights I can't feel the bottom. So I like a hard weight like that because you can really feel the bottom. And I know if the bottom is rock, grass, gravel, sand. I, I know I know the type of bottom it is from using a weight like that. You could use an egg sinker or anything, whatever. It doesn't really matter. The line is more or less vertical below the boat as I'm drifting. And I'll let outline and take in line just depending on the depth, the wind, the current, and all that. There's something about having that free floating leader behind the whole rig. And it's about eight feet and all doesn't even need to be that long. Uh, I've had the best success ever. It's almost like a handheld downrigger. It's how it's functioning. Caught my biggest fish on that. Caught my the most fish on that. Whether I'm fishing for big fish like big catfish, or if I'm fi fishing for just bait, I, I always catch the most with that. Now, if you really want to get serious, you'd put three droppers and have and coming back at different lengths. But I think it's very complicated and uh, a little bit too much line management tangle. My, that's my ultimate drift rig for handline and Cuban yo-yos in uh, really fresh water.